All right, you guys, so I am moving soon out of state, of course, and with my very large plant collection and the fact that I have redone my plant corner, this plant corner, again, I thought I would do an, a plant tour and show you guys what I have going on so far, what looks sad, what looks happy, and if you guys have any pointers, please leave them in the comments because I do not know what I'm doing and I just love them all and want to keep them all alive and I'm doing the best that I can. So let's share the information. Alright you guys, I'm going to turn you around and let's see what I got going on. So, kind of like looking at this corner, here's kind of what you see, and I got a couple up here. <clears throat> so I have this Worthia that I repotted fairly recently. My Maranta, which has become my favorite plant. I freaking love it. I love the fact that the leaves just move all the time. And the the red vining in it, it's beautiful. Definitely one of my favorites. This is from my grandmother and my beautiful juice cup with my mushrooms. And it's growing. It's got new growth. It was a cutting off of the plant she has. I need to add some water to it. This is a very recent plant I got. It's a lily. As you can tell by the flowers. I'm still figuring it out. I just repotted it yesterday. The leaves are incredible. And over here. <clears throat> this is where it starts to get a little crowded. Uh, over the dog cage. My peanut cactus. I love this. It's it's so giving. I mean, just just look at those babies. And this is another repot that I've done. Got a cacti in there. Beautiful. Little Orthia. <clears throat> and if you know the names of any plants that I don't know the names of, please leave them because some I've kind of been having a hard time identifying. Some succulents up there, another more peanut cacti. I mean, just look at that. Look at that. I love it. There we go. Now you can see a little baby lady finger here. I propagated in a baby food jar. This is from Satchel's Pizza. Another lady finger. This, is, this was from Walmart. <clears throat> another one more propagations little tiny baby Haworthia propagations and then down here this is kind of the mother plant of those ones that you saw up there <clears throat> and then just little pieces of, I like to just drop little succulent leaves and see what they do you know can't hurt and you'll be surprised what they give you <clears throat> a bunch more Worthies, excuse me. Propagations from a new rescue plant. My Gasteria from a plant shopping trip. I love it. I, I'm, I'm obsessed. Definitely one of my top 10 favorite plants I have. And this is a snake plant. Several snake plants that I've added together. They were different ones and I've added them together. Ignore the Diametaceous Earth. A lavender. I cannot keep them alive in my house, but I can't help but bring them in. I really can't. It's a problem. It's a problem. And this is another succulent cacti arrangement I made. I threw together. Since I'm moving, I've been trying to group my plants together so that I'm just moving less pots. And after I move, you know, I can separate them out if I want to, but it's just going to hopefully make the whole trip much easier. At least on my plants. But this one I really like. I think I'm going to keep it together. And as you can see, there's some more little leaves in there. Another cacti. I love the combination of this pot with this cacti. I think it looks really great. Now going up here, this has been the biggest change lately to my corner back here. I put all of my moisture-loving plants together. Humidity-loving plants together, I mean. <clears throat> up here on the top shelf. I'm going to see if my ficus will be happier up here. I know... 
touching plants really shouldn't be a thing and and uh hopefully in the new house I won't have to have them together touching if I don't want to hopefully there'll be more space anyway <clears throat> I'm gonna see if they'll like this more this is a, another new plant from a plant shopping trip I love it love it love it love it definitely another favorite pothos here Hawaiian pothos up there another Hawaiian pothos and this oh my god I love it. I named it Juniper. Don't ask me why. That's just her name. I got this from the Florida um, Museum on the trip. We went to see the butterfly exhibit and the, <clears throat> the spider exhibit there. It was a, an amazing trip. Everybody should definitely go. We got way too many souvenirs and I of course had to get this plant. But look at all of these babies. It was only $10. And I love her. I love her. Everybody meet Juniper. Say hello, Juniper. Alright. <clears throat> so here on the second shelf. Oh, should probably turn off that light. Hold on. Oh, these are also new lights I got. I will be doing a video after I find out how much I exactly like them. Still checking them out. Giving them a test run. This is the other one here down there and I will let you guys know how they do but for now we're going to turn it off there we go all right so second shelf there's some of my aloe aloe vera baby aloe veras more peanut cacti Jamaican aloe some ogre ears rosetta succulents these are definitely one of my favorite cacti they bloom I love them does this one have a bloom right now? Not at the moment. <clears throat> there, that is my mother, Lady Finger Cactus. Actually, she has been giving me many babies. You can see the the dye from Walmart where, when I first got her. <clears throat> She's amazing. And another cacti. This is definitely another favorite cacti of mine. Let's see. What is it, Mamarilla? I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but I will put it on the pot for you, on the, on the screen for you. Some more ogre ears, another favorite. Thanks, Ashley Unita, for showing me those. I've become obsessed. Some watch chains. I love these as well, though. I can't seem to keep them happy, so if you know what I'm, well, they look happier now. Hmm. Huh. I do look happier now. My Blooming Jewels. <clears throat> More Haworthia. Now this guy, I cannot keep happy. And you can tell it's not happy. So please give me some information on it if you know. Like, look at that. The whole stem died. What am I doing wrong? And it's rooting up here. Do I need to put it in a bigger pot? I don't know. I'm just putting any little pieces that fall down here. Hoping the root. And my little teacup. Propagations. Oh my gosh, how did I not show you these? <gasps> I am obsessed with these. Absolutely obsessed. I keep getting so sidetracked. This is what I do when I talk about plants. I'm all over the place. But I love this one. Love it, love it, love it. I cannot wait to find a new spot in our new place. And this is a dragon fruit that my hubby got me from Satchel's. Look, oh my gosh, look how, look how many babies it's doing. Look at this. It is going crazy. I still don't know everything I need to know. Should I separate it out? Should I repot it out? What do you think? Maybe I will. But I think it looks so cute in the pot and just so full. But it really is full. Let me know in the comments. Should I repot it? Should I separate it out? Oh. I don't know. I can't decide. <clears throat> I'm always so nervous. And then down here, this has become my cacti shelf. And this pot is where that arrangement is supposed to go. Another arrangement. I love the fuzzy pandas. I put them all together. And since I put them together in this one, they actually seem to be much happier. 
And this is a bunch of, well, two of the main plants and then a whole bunch of propagated pieces. And that was falling over. Another ogre ear. This one's my daughter's. And up here, my daughter painted and drew the face on that little peanut cactus. I love it. And another one I'm obsessed with is this taco looking succulent. Tell me that's not cute. Look at that. And my love-hate relationship with these cacti here. I love them. And I hate them because I constantly get pricked by them. I'm sure you guys can relate. These are some more propagation pieces. Another one of my favorite succulents. The leaves are just so, so fatty. And down here is kind of like a rehab working on area that I haven't officially decided what to do with yet. This mean Gavi's not too happy. And <gasps> she did it again. My cat knocked the sky over again. And then this one has been looking a little sad, so I've been meaning to check her out and see what's going on. You can tell those guys are sad. But hey, man, this is, this is plant life, right? We're all just adjusting and learning. And down here, some moss containers that have become neglected as well. Now, which plants are your favorites? Which plants have you had in your collection that have or haven't done well? Have you learned anything about any of these plants? Can you give me any information, please? Help a girl out. And what, what has been your experiences moving? What was the best thing that you did in your move with your plants? How did, your, how did you pack your plants? My Drusina back there and my Monstera. Bromelade. Pothos. And water propagations. My Agalonema, which in a video you see me fight the plastic cage that, I, that they put them in. I mean, I didn't even know that was a thing. I love the string of... Alright everybody, I think that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.